Hello everyone. So this channel will include mainly orthodontic videos for undergraduates and there will be some advanced topics for postgraduates as well. And let's start today by talking about orthodontic diagnosis for undergraduates. So generally speaking, the goal of any orthodontic treatment is to improve the patient's quality of life. And any orthodontist actually has three main goals for his patients. The best occlusion possible, good facial aesthetics, and stability. And stability means that the treatment results are preserved over time. And of course, these goals can only be achieved by accurate diagnosis and careful treatment planning. So the diagnosis process is started by creating a database of information about the patient. And then we analyze this information to create what we call a problem list. The problem list is just a simple list of all the problems and abnormalities that were discovered either from the patient's chief complaint or through the doctor's observations and diagnosis. And of course, this problem list must include any pathological and developmental problems. So the pathological problems could be dental like caries, periodontal diseases, or medical problems like diabetes. While the developmental problems include things like crowding or a class two malocclusion, for example. One important thing to note here is that all the pathological problems must be under control before considering starting orthodontic treatment. And remember that orthodontics doesn't only deal with teeth. However, it also involves the jaws. So the problem could be either dental, which only involves the teeth, or a skeletal problem, which involves the maxilla or the mandible, or it could be both dental and skeletal problem. And since we are dealing with three-dimensional structures, the problem could be in any dimension as well. So it could be an anteroposterior problem, a transverse problem, or a vertical problem. Okay, now that we have got our problem list, the problems are then ordered from the most to the least important according to the patient's needs and desires. And then we develop a treatment plan. The treatment plan is just our solution to the problems. And it's always an interactive process. This means that the patient must be involved in the decision and the treatment planning process. And of course, we might have different solutions to the same problem. So we need to choose the most appropriate one for each case individually. Now that we understood the big picture, let's actually dive into how can we gather the information database that we have talked about. So there are three main methods that we can do so. First, by interviewing the patient or questionnaire. The second is by clinical examination. And the third is evaluation of the diagnostic records. So let's discuss them one by one. The first one is interviewing the patient or using a questionnaire. And this means that after knowing the patient's general information like his name and age, we ask the patient about his chief complaint and the orthodontist must write it down in the patient's own words. Also dental, family, medical history are essential. For example, a patient should be asked about any long-term medications, any allergies or chronic medical problems. Genetic predisposition to a certain malocclusion must also be known. Also knowing the patient's dental history is of great importance in the diagnostic phase. For instance, any previous extractions, history of a habit such as thumb sucking or a trauma. We also have to determine whether the patient himself is motivated for treatment. And we call this internal motivation. Or maybe someone else pressured him, maybe a parent or a friend. This is called external motivation. Now, the second method for gathering information is clinical examination. This is where the orthodontist evaluates the oral health, function, the facial proportions, physical growth, and the smile characteristics of the patient. We also check the number of teeth. Maybe there is a missing tooth or a supranumerary. Check for any dental abnormalities, evaluate the periodontal condition, speech, the temporomandibular joint, swallowing, and the occlusion. The third method is the evaluation of diagnostic records. And we have what we call essential diagnostic records. And this means that we need these records for each patient before starting treatment. And they are study models, photographs, and radiographs. And we will talk about each diagnostic record in detail in the coming videos. That's great. So let's summarize the process again. We need a database of information about the patient. 
This information is collected through questioning the patient, either through an interview or a questionnaire, by clinical examination, and by evaluation of the diagnostic records. And then after analyzing this information, we create an accurate problem list. And as we said before, the problem list could be or should be divided into dental and skeletal problems and also should be divided into anteroposterior, transverse and vertical problems. In the end, the orthodontist must be clear and open in his communication with the patient. So he should explain the benefits and drawbacks of every step along the way. And a consent must be signed by the patient approving the final treatment plan. So this was a quick overview of the diagnosis process and I hope you enjoyed this video.